Katie with RIA Health and welcome to our Ask a Doctor series. I'm here today with Dr. Mendelson. He is a part of our medical team here at RIA and Dr. Mendelson has over 30 years of experience in treating people with alcohol use disorder. Dr. Mendelson, the question we have for you today is on the topic of naltrexone, emotions and mood. Since naltrexone blocks endorphins in the brain that are released when alcohol is consumed, does it block healthy endorphins too? And if so, does naltrexone affect other neurotransmitters like serotonin? Can it impact someone's mood? Well, the easier question is the serotonin question. It doesn't uh, interact with serotonin or dopamine directly at all. So it, and naltrexone's a, really just a pure opioid antagonist, and, uh, and it really only works in the opioid system. It's got some other interesting effects within the opioid system that, 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 that scientists are interested in that, that may be related more to side effects. But, but the, in, terms of, in terms of its primary effect, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything to the dopamine, serotonin, or any of the other neurotransmitters. So the second question is, does, if you take naltrexone, will you block all your pleasure? For example, if you're interested in athletics and running or like sex or food, are you going to ruin those by, by taking naltrexone? And it doesn't appear that you do, which is really interesting. So what, what that says is that some of the pleasure that you're getting through these other behaviors are mediated by other systems, not just de-repressing this, 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 this endorphin release that alcohol does. So alcohol seems to have a very specific effect on, on, this, on this GABAergic system that suppresses the endorphin release normally. And you, so you, you cut off, you, 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 you activate the GABA and then you unrepress you de-repress the, the naltrexone signal, the uh, endorphin signaling, and that's what makes alcohol so compelling. But other behaviors don't act, don't elevate endorphins through that mechanism. So, 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 in general, people don't experience a loss of other pleasurable things on naltrexone. Now, you know, it, it, there's always someone who had something, you know, like there's there's always some story that an individual had one, but in general, this doesn't happen. And we know that from animal studies because animals will, will, will still work for, they'll get reward, they'll still press levers to get like rewards for some things, but not, not alcohol when they're treated with naltrexone. So naltrexone seems to be moderately specific for suppressing alcohol reward and not affecting these other rewarding things. Okay. okay, great, thank you. Yep. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on the topic of alcohol use disorder and medication assisted treatment, please post it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for regular video content. And thank you so much for watching, bye.